This physics example problem involves mass, density, and volume. We have a uh, compound cylinder. Uh, we have an inner cylinder made of aluminum with a radius of 3 centimeters and a length of uh, 12 centimeters. This center, this cylinder is partially surrounded by another also aluminum cylinder with an inner radius of 3 centimeters, so there's an exact fit between the smaller inner cylinder and the outer cylinder. The outer radius of the larger cylinder is 9 centimeters. It only has a length of 8 centimeters, and they're uh, sharing the same central axis line. So we want to know what the mass is for this object. So I made a little sketch here. We have uh, the smaller, long, 12 centimeter long cylinder. Uh, eight centimeters of it is surrounded by the larger cylinder that has a radius of nine centimeters. The smaller cylinder is three centimeters. We're going to make use of the uh, definition of density that's uh, mass divided by volume. So I need to come up with the mass of the object and then also calculate the volume of the object. So let's uh, get started on this. Um, the mass is density times volume. We're going to look up the density of aluminum, 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, or in uh, a little more standard metric units, 2.7 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. How do we find the volume for a cylinder? Well, it's pi r squared. That would be the area of a circle, and then times length. So pi r squared times the length. And I'm going to work first with, uh, since these are both made of aluminum, the smaller inner cylinder and the outer cylinder, it's all aluminum. So I'm just going to consider first what's the uh, volume of this 8 centimeter length. And I do pi, the radius squared, 0.09 squared, and then a length of 0.08 meters. And you should stop your calculator and See if you get the same number here, 2.036 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters. So now we do the uh, shorter cylinder that sticks out to the left, 4 centimeters. Same formula, pi r squared and uh, times L, but now the r is a different number. 0.03 is the radius of the smaller cylinder, and the length is different. Only 0.04 meters is unaccounted for so far. Um, and you get this value. Another way to work this problem would be to do the cylinders totally separately and find the volume of the inner cylinder, uh, pi 0.03 squared times 0.12, its length. And then the calculation for the outer cylinder is a little more complicated. You'd have to do pi 0.09 squared times 0.08 minus the gap that's now in here because we've in the second method accounted for the uh, volume there. And that gap would be pi 0.03 squared times 8, uh, 0.08 meters. Uh, but I'm choosing to, since it's all aluminum, just uh, do one cylinder that has a radius of 9 centimeters and it's 8 centimeters long. And then one cylinder has a length of 4 centimeters and its radius is 3 centimeters. Uh, as just an educational thing, you might try doing that other calculation I suggest and see if you get a total volume of 2.149 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters. This is the volume of the 8 centimeter object. This is the volume of the 4 centimeter long object. Multiply by the mass and uh, we come up with 5.8 kilograms for the mass of this aluminum object. And just a little discussion on a not straightforward shape where you have to use a picture and decide how you'll approach finding the volume that's involved. Um, if the densities would have been different, if this was a lead cylinder inside aluminum cylinder, then I would do the calculation a different way. I'd find the volume of the 12 centimeter long cylinder first, and then I would find the volume of a cylindrical shell, finding the total uh, volume of the uh, large cylinder and then subtracting the volume of the hole that's in here occupied by the lid. Hope that's not too confusing. If it is, replay the video please and uh, second time around might be a little bit better. If you'd like some other uh, physics and astronomy tutorials, uh, example problems, and short lectures, 
these websites uh, would be a place to uh, find some of those. Um, it's free. There's nothing for sale. Uh, just a list of my YouTube videos. And if you do enjoy the YouTube videos, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you.